Hey everyone, thank you so much for joining Archangel Alts. This is Gordon Freeman, the free man, leading you from the darkness into the light. The crypto revolution. Remember, mass adoption comes from liquidity. Liquidity comes from trading on a legitimate exchange. We choose Binance. Thank you so much for joining. This is Archangel Alts, trading with you live without a net. And if your name is a net, we invite you to join us too. Live with a net, meaning that we do this just right in front of you. Just jump right in. Uh, show you the things that we see as we're seeing them and my goodness you would think that a pattern as clear as this would be easy to just jump right in there but we are literally doing this entire crazy thing at the edge of the cliff look at that way up high so you know when we uh, try not to overuse a word like unprecedented here's the thing is that when we're talking Boyd's on Binance Ravencoin it is unprecedented um, we have uh, I believe it is the second coin, if not the third, but the second that I'm aware of, and I don't remember which one it was, um, to have beat its original peak now. Uh, usually when something gets listed, it goes uh, skyrocketing way high and comes shooting down immediately after. And um, that has continued to be a trend. It's not just something that happened just after Bitcoin did its 20,000 and then dropped. Uh, so uh, the fact that it has gone past the breaking through um, a new digit entirely. It went from 600 to 700 to 800 to 900. We saw it break 1,000, and we went woohoo, and we saw it break 1,100 and kind of couldn't believe it. And uh, it has broken 1,200. We've been there for it breaking 1,300. And now, oh my goodness, uh, just within the past hour, it has broken, broken uh, it done broke, it did 1,500. Um, so what we are counting from, there are eight units after the decimal uh, measured in bitcoin and we trade against bitcoin here in the world of archangel alts thank you so much for joining us and uh you know this is whenever we do this live trading if there's uh, way too much risk to actually go in on a position we'll always use it as some kind of teaching moment and as we go along this is going to be something that is going to be more and more exclusive to our paid subscribers 9.99 a month 19.9 a month reoccurring that comes to only three dollars a day on average and um, if you are serious about learning serious about investing serious about uh, following mirroring the moves that we make um, here in our live day trading uh, we are teaching you more advanced uh, everything that you see as an introduction and even intermediate for free uh, is more advanced in our paid group you can learn just about everything that you want to we're going to be adding signals there uh, uh, doing calls whenever the market allows for something. We pretty much try to watch this 24-7. The market um, sleeps at weird times, so now we do too. Um, but the most important thing happening right now, uh, doing a little bit of a market watch analysis for you, analysis for you. Sometimes I can't remember if I've actually slurred my words because it's very exciting and moving very quickly. But here we are, BTC, USDT. Uh, this is Bitcoin measured in Tether, USDT. Um, it is by and far larger than any other uh, fiat-based stablecoin. Uh, and regardless of anybody's prejudices against Tether for whatever weird reasons, um, it remains uh, way more than 90% larger than PAX, USDC, USDS, TUSD. So all of those things being said, uh, Bitcoin is... I mean, I wouldn't even say struggling because the fact that it is holding around uh, 39.80 when it was still rising to four grand while still dropping volume, we are hitting that critical range now. I can't imagine that it doesn't start to spike again, but uh, we're down to 63 million dollars measured in Tether USDT on the Binance Exchange. It is the absolute best. Uh, measure for the real volume that is out there. So take that to the larger market and uh, reflect it as you will. It looks like it might just now be starting to grow again. So what happens when BTC re retains its relative value while the volume is dropping less and less and less, um, that starts to mechanically, mathematically send signals to different groups of coins at different values to start um locking to wherever Bitcoin is and over-exaggerating its moves. So it kind of creates almost like false spikes. It's not a guarantee of uh, anything happening. Uh, but if something is already headed on its way up and starting to spike and do other stuff, every little sensitive thing that Bitcoin does kind of triggers that coin to just go gangbusters. So obviously, you know, this was partially um, a... Uh, 
just a human effort uh, move. Once you start seeing it break in that 1490, uh, everybody's watching to see it break uh, 1500. And I was seriously considering, seriously considering uh, going in on this one because this was just so, uh, I, I was pretty certain that, you know, this was bound to be the start of the down. But then I saw Bitcoin coming down from the 66 million to 65 to 64. And I was like, oh my gosh, it's going to do it. So it did exactly that. It was just way too risky for us to try to go in on that part of it. Uh, but we did, uh, let's see, actually, the last thing we did, it was a, uh, um, actually, I was trying to go for a much larger trade on both uh, client and browser. Um, so yeah, we actually did 1480 to 1493. It's almost a perfect position there. So uh, not as large as we're looking to do. It was about what, 1480. So yeah, we did it. It was about $690 in Bitcoin world. So not teeny weeny. Um, but we're trying to go for Bitcoin sized moves if it's possible. It's a huge risk. We're actually going way beyond our own <laughs> um, rule of fifths principle of thirds, thirds naughty on us. But, um, you know, just watching for risk versus reward and looking at the likelihood of uh, the rate of being able to clear that position. I would definitely not recommend you're spending your entire amount on a single position. Don't ever do it. In fact, the rule of fifths would say that there's three levels or three tiers that you're going to work that from. So your first level is just the actual trade size. So you kind of start from the top down um, and work your way down. You know, for instance, if you had... Uh, twelve thousand five hundred dollars you can do a hundred dollar trade and what that allows you to do is to be consistently circulating three four or five trades at a time even if you get stuck in a hold huddle here and there you're able to continue trading um you know day after day and then that second tier down the reason it's there is as you do accumulate huddles you're able to continue through an entire cycle cycle uh day after day week after week um, as you start getting closer and closer to that time where you're accumulating a few here and there, um, you might have a HODL. We consider anything that goes beyond two weeks a HODL. Um, anything within um, a couple of hours to a couple of days, um, you know, the goal is that it, it closes that same day. Um, but because we know the huge fluctuations, we try to choose coins other than this unprecedented thing that's happening right here with the remarkable amazing raven coin now at this point we are actually waiting for it to come down to something safe but the thing is that it hasn't been doing that and it has been uh, absorbing a lot of the attention and volume so if you're going to move forward you're going to have to take some risks so we're just taking the absolute largest <laughs> ones um, that are available there and i definitely you know do not try this at home unless you are very 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 brave um, so don't be stupid, but sometimes it's the right time to be brave. You just have to have a little bit of an instinct for it and don't get stuck. So speaking of which, uh, we are here for entertainment purposes only. I am not your financial advisor. We do not have a golden plaque on the wall that says certified professional champion of trading cryptocurrencies. Uh, truth of the matter is Bitcoin's been around for a decade, but there's still no real crypto experts. Even the experts aren't experts yet. It's way too young of a field for anybody to be an expert at something this unique. Um, Wall Street literally calling it a, a brand new asset class. Uh, they honestly still don't really know exactly what to do with crypto. So it looks like we're going to hang out as if this is a new high and i um, watching to see what Bitcoin is thinking. I thought that it was going to start to pick up pace, but it is still not getting there. Still watching here. Okay, so yeah, I, th I think that is, I mean, <laughs> this is not coming down yet. Had a little bit of a hint that it might start to come down there. But I mean, it's honestly, it looks to me like it's averaging upwards again. Yeah, see, boom, just like that. Oh my goodness. 
Okay, so 1498 to 1508, is it worth doing that? Uh, 1498 to 15, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Technically, it should be 1513 um, if I was trying to go for the whole thing there. Um, I'm seriously thinking in terms of actually going for smaller positions faster. Um, that's one of the things with our technique when you're learning the principal thirds and how to get into these trades. Um, there are several different variables that you can adjust. Uh, and because we've gotten a few of these in, I'm not going to uh, force myself to do something that I think is just the wrong thing to do. Um, I don't do things just for the charisma. But you can adjust the trade size. You can adjust the number of trades. You can adjust the percentage that you're trying to earn on each trade. And what you really just don't, what you want to do is to not end up stuck to where you can't do anything. That is the absolute main thing. Even if you miscalculate something, um, you can always reduce your trade size and work your way back up. Uh, but you just you don't want to take the entire pot and just go all in, no matter what kind of position it is. And so we have come close a few times to doing exactly that, but. Caution, caution, caution. So a little bit of a less of a spike that time, but we're still going up in volume. It's unbelievable. We are now at 10,100 BTC. You got to think there are coins that are moving fast enough to clear with just 100 BCT, 24 hour volume. Now what that means is that 100 Bitcoins, let's say it was uh, 10,100 and two, Bitcoin's 24 hour volume. That means that within 24 hour period of time, 10,102 Bitcoins have been traded on this exchange. It doesn't mean that those were all positive value. That's some combination of buying and selling. Well, it'd be really interesting is to see something more than just a chart uh, that give you those. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it's, still, it's actually going to maybe even go for the next digit. I mean, I'm not sure. It has been a long time since something that wasn't just a brand new listing um, just kept skyrocketing this much. You can see that even this up and this up are larger than this one right here that got us from 1470 to 1505, 1507-ish. So we could have done that 1498 to 1513 and it would have just flown by. Um, just you got to be so careful with this stuff. So... I mean, who would ever think, you know, I might go in low around 1501 on Raven. I mean, let me just show you. When we cleared our Raven positions, we were already holding 278. 278. It, I mean, this was incredible when it blew past whatever positions we were holding. Um, when it made it all the way up to here, oh my goodness, it was like, is it going to break a thousand? Is it really? Uh, this is incredible. This is an incredible movement. Really amazing. And it's not the only one doing this. IOST was struggling between 197 and 199 uh, when we were happy to clear our, you know, our official sized trades in it. We did another one in the twos somewhere. We we traded that uh, successfully. ADA is doing amazing stuff. Look, it's at 70, almost 7,500 BTC, 24 hour volume. It was in the 8,000 range. Um, and so... We've been trying to watch for a safe place to get in on ADA, and that's been really ridiculously difficult, too. Um, it, it's not so much for me. It's not the shift because, like, I'm always ready for this gear, but it's because it's so high in comparison to what it's been doing. It's a lot easier to say, oh, well, you know, this is so low. This is such a low bottom. You know, let me just wait for the right part. And when I think the bottom is there, then that's when I'll go in. Uh, but the higher that you go, the bigger the risk is that you're stuck way up here on a limb somewhere. So, you know, we're trying to avoid ever allowing that to happen at all costs. So, it is, you know, FOMO goes to an extreme fear of missing it, the higher that this goes. So challenging, so challenging. Look at the amount of volume there. Incredible. So the challenge here is, uh, you know, meanwhile... You know, what other opportunities are there? I mean, really are there? <laughs> um, and so you kind of watch, okay, that's out on a cliff. Uh, TRX is down below 600 again. Um, 
Ethereum takes a really long time to do these different things because it's worth so much. Um, it has to cover much more ground and it doesn't do it very effectively. When, in, whenever something has to cover uh, a wide range, it has to do that before the climate shifts uh, in Bitcoin world. So, um, the, you know, if you're only after the big guys, you know, Ethereum, Litecoin, XRP, and Bitcoin, then every single thing that you should do is should be mid and long term. You should not be trying to swing trade um, because you could end up doing these really long snare steps. Um, even with BNB, uh, Binance Coin starting to be in the news more and people watching its value go up there, overtaking the Litecoin and Ethereum stuff. Um, the thing is, we really don't know how long that's going to last and what exactly all of the different factors are that are going into that. We can always reach out and grab some news that, that matches up to our expectations, but it doesn't mean that it's actually the technical or mathematical or behind the hash rate or transactional side of things or programming reasons. We don't know who might be steadily increasing uh, certain things that we aren't privy to. Poly has been doing impressive stuff. See that up there in its risky, risky range? So amazing stuff. I just, uh, whether we actually get a trade in here or not, I just wanted you to see how remarkable what the market is doing. And yet, uh, we're not anywhere close to a bull run yet. Part of the reason it's doing this is because Bitcoin's actually still dropping in volume. So it is holding, the, the value is actually starting to um, average out to what it should be with the volume dropping, meaning that um, it was trying to show strong at 4,000, um, but it actually took $140 million, 24-hour volume to get it up above 4,000. And then it has slowly slipped. It was still maintaining up there at 90 million and in the high 80 millions. But now that it's at just above $63 million, 24-hour volume USDT, Tether, um, it is hovering around 39.82, coming down from 39.87. And that's the truth. So MANA has made what I would expect to be its peak, and it could be the one that we try to go in on. It's possible. So what I don't want to do is to accidentally leave behind Raven and then find out that I was in on it without meaning to be. So nope, hasn't happened. Um, kind of got it marked in the 1484 range just for safety's sake. Um, yeah, I kind of <laughs> went right to it there. Um, it dipped a little bit below that here. We're doing this crazy over here. We are now <laughs> up to 10,249, 10,250 BTC 24 hour volume. So I don't think it's done going up. I can't even catch my breath for it to go up before it goes up even more. Um, gonna check our browser real quick. Okay, so here we are in the browser. Just want to make sure I had everything set up. So here's a look at Mana. I've already got a couple of windows open. Here's Mana. Here's the unbelievable Raven. And here is ADA. So the patterns, and I'm going to actually shorten this to a one minute now. I've been watching that for a while. Um, so I'm actually a little bit comforted by ADA more on its way down than up. So I do need to see the overall value here. Boom, 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 then a change, boom. So this actually could be the next of a three series up, even though it looks this way at an hour. I have found that a lot of times altcoins are not at all um, accurate with what the pattern is going to do next on the MACD um, at the one hour candle length, but it's necessary to see where it came from. So. It's up about 300 points, you know, about uh, 1,100, uh, 1,200 to 1,500, 1,250, 1,550-ish. So 
we only need to see about 1540 to 1550, both of them hovering around the median there, is just really high. And the thing is that if all the activity is hovering around a few coins that are really high, um, I mean, you can choose to just sit things out until they're safer. But where's the guarantee that there's going to be like 20,000 BTC 24 hour volume on five, six, seven, eight, nine coins in a cycle or a day? Uh, it doesn't usually happen. So here's the thing we want to look at the overall average, and it has seen, uh, you know, four times that, um, maybe even more. I don't really count the extreme highs up there. So I would consider double a fairly safe range if you got stuck in a hold. Um, ain't no big thing. Um, if the market corrects at all, it should be able to do double that. So obviously we don't want to ride this all the way up to 2700 um, when this is already extremely high for what it would normally do. But it looks to me like the if we were able to get in around 1530, 1535, that wouldn't be so bad. Uh, Raven, I don't even have a marker for this thing. It is so crazy. And I mean, where's the slowdown? You know, I can almost guarantee you anybody that says, you know what, it's just going to keep going up. I'm just going to go in. That's going to be when it drops. There's absolutely, I mean, Murphy, I don't know how he does it. Um, who put his laws into existence? Murphy's law. He's, I mean, he's, he's just kind of a jerk, right? Um, and if your name is Murphy, I'm not talking about you. It's a mythical unicorn like character who wreaks havoc on our expectations. 1325, so 1335 would be fine, 32, 33 would be fine, but really if we can get all the way to a percent and then take our fees out of that, that's even better. 26 to 36, 38, about 38. So almost always, you know, even at this pace, I've watched Manda come up from 100 BTC, 24 hour volume, so it is accelerating impressively. And I'm starting to see a mirroring. We have, follow my cursor over here, we have this up, and down so the average sitting around here and now you can see that this is coming down so I kind of expect it to come back up to that weird little average but I'm looking at the shape of this down here what I like is that I'm starting to see things um, not only mirroring what BTC was doing so that's a really good sign for being able to find an actual entry in this crazy crazy stuff so what are you doing, Raven? You're heading straight for 1600? Is that your idea? So you can see I actually still had this set. I was canceling out around 1475, nervous about what it was going to do. 1475, because I mean, you know, look how high that is. Um, but then it just shot straight up. I mean, just truly unbelievable. That's a, a powerful force is this Boyd right now. Mm-hmm. Okay, so it's, it's fluctuating a little bit. Now, obviously, I'm all for something just going, you know, crazy up like that. But I want in. And uh, so you can't play the fear of missing out game. And just, you know, some people, what they'll do, they'll treat it like a pump and do a market order. And you don't really know exactly where that order might be. It might be plus or minus half a percent from where you're trying to go in. And you're thinking, well, it's gone up 10% and then 10%, you know, made it up to 30% at one point. It's like, yeah, you don't know how quick that happens and how tough it is to find that 1% margin, let alone two or three. Uh, unless you're going along on everything and you've analyzed everything a huge amount, you just are choosing the absolute bottom perfectly. Uh, it just doesn't really happen much. So we're in that range now. We could have already done 1325 to 1335. Oh, just so tricky. I'm going to try third. I like coming in low and testing it before going in when possible. I'm not afraid of moving super fast. See, okay. This sucker's not even waiting up for us. It's like, okay, and when it's a little bit glitchy, that's a little bit dangerous, too. So, yeah, I might need to refresh, in fact. Nope, we're fine. Okay. So, we got too much of this crazy going on at the same time. Going to have to choose your battles here. So, what I'm going to do, tell you what I'm going to do. We already missed our chance there on 
Uh, mana. This is just crazy. Enjoy watching this like a show at this point because I can't advise you um, to just jump right in. I'm not your financial advisor. You make your own choices, do your own research, take your own risks. Uh, we're not responsible for what you decide to do. We're just here to entertain you. But we do find it entertaining to make money. So uh, take our advice if you want to uh, research uh, ultimately the risk on you. Uh, this is edutainment, certainly. Um, our experience has given us 98.7% accuracy for 15 months. So we are sharing that with you. Uh, for our subscribers, you get more of everything. That's the short version. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take mana and I'm going to look it up over here. Just doing it alphabetically. Boom. Mana. And I'm going to close it out here. <laughs> okay. Well, that's just awesome. Garden like high peak on Raven. Okay. Just unbelievable. So the reason I did this is because now I can just back arrow. And I've got my ADA there if I decide to do it. Uh, we have this one older position set incredibly high. I actually readjust a lot of things on the 7th um, because we were putting some BNB coin aside for a rainy day. Um, and I like to um, adjust things so I don't action accidentally um, cancel out that. So that's the reason that I do that there. So yes, we actually do have more earnings than what we're using right now, which is nice. 1540 to 1550. Risky stuff. In fact, we probably go back. Yeah, what is Phoenix doing right now? Phoenix has not jumped back in yet. There's a point where Phoenix and Raven were the two top ones. So, uh, quite a fancy pair of boys. Uh huh. Uh huh. Um, Phoenix, we have some of our. Um, ultra high earlier positions are very few huddles and as you can see it's about as high as it gets but we actually set that much higher than it needs to be just like raven i kind of have this feeling that this up over here with phoenix is something to be um, excited about um, and this is not to be confused with a crappy little coin called phoenix I, uh, you know what it might be perfectly nice you know it's it's got a really good personality um but this is red pulse phoenix it's uh we did a video on that if you want to learn more about it it's about um covering the real business sector of china without the um a nationalized media trend version of things if you follow that from a political stance what that means okay so raven may be realizing is not going to stay up there forever Quoth the raven, nevermore, but sometimes more. 10,398 BTC. We're going to... 439 AM. This might be one of those um, early markets that keeps going until noon Eastern Standard Time. So I'm hoping this coffee is really good. It tastes good. Yep. But, you know, it's kind of feeling like now we're really got to do something honorable. Um... You know, not because of the coin at all, but because of, you know, Poetry Corner. Let's see. This is for you, Poe. Okay, not the coin. You'll understand soon enough. You'll understand soon enough. Yep, I'm still here. Don't you worry. 
นะอ l right, here we go. Are you ready? I'm actually gonna leave the music. Maybe it'll be. No, you know what? It's way too. It's way too positive sounding for. <laughs> um, yeah, no. Actually, I'm gonna leave the music running. Let's be in contrast. The Raven by Edgar Allan Poe. Once upon a month. <laughs> Once upon a midnight dreary, while I pondered weak and weary, over many a quaint and curious volume of forgotten lore, while I nodded, nearly napping, suddenly there came a tapping, as of some one gently rapping, rapping at my chamber door. "Tis some visitor, tis some visitor," I muttered, tapping at my chamber door. Only this and nothing more. Ah, distinctly I remember it was the bleak December, as and each separate dying ember. Wrought its ghost upon the floor. Eagerly I wished the morrow. Vainly I had sought to borrow from my books surcease of sorrow, sorrow for the lost Lenore, for the rare and radiant maiden whom the angels named Lenore, nameless here forevermore. And the silken satin, certain rustling of each purple curtain, thrilled me, filled me with fantastic terrors never felt before. So that now, ooh, the chills came in perfect time. So that now, to still the beating of my heart, I stood repeating, "Tis some vitter, visitor, entreating entrance at my chamber door. Some late visitor entreating entrance at my chamber door. This is it, and nothing more." What's the nothing more? What's it? What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? You know what? We're gonna have to fast forward a little bit here. So here we go. Open here, I flung the shutter when, with many a flirt and flutter. In there stepped a stately raven of the saintly days of yore. Not the least obeisance made he. Not a minute stopped or stayed he, but with mine of lord or lady perched above my chamber door, perched upon the bust of Pallas just above my chamber door, perched and sat, and nothing more. Then this ebony bird beguiling my sad fancy into smiley by the grave and stern decorum of the countenance it wore. Though thy crest be short and shaven, thou, I said, art sh sure no craven, ghastly grim and ancient raven wandering from the nightly shore. Tell me what thy lordly name is on the night's Plutonian shore, quoth the raven, nevermore. Much I marvel, much I marvel at this ungainly fowl to hear discourse so plainly, though its answer little meaning, little rel relevancy bore, for we cannot help agreeing that no living human being. Ever yet was blessed with seeing bird above his chamber door, bird or beast upon the sculptured bust above his chamber door, with such name as Nevermore. So we're going to continue, continue such a amazing, amazing poem coming here again. Then methought the air grew denser, perfumed from an unseen censer swung by seraphim, whose footfalls tinkled on the tufted floor. Wretch. I cried, "They God hath lent thee, by these angels he hath sent thee, respite, respite, and nepenthe from thy memories of Lenore. Quaff, o oh, quaff this kind nepenthe, and forget this lost Lenore. Quaff the raven nevermore. So he ain't relenting, see what I'm saying? Prophet, said I, thing of evil, prophet still, if bird or devil, whether tempter sent, or whether tempest tossed thee here ashore. Desolate yet all undaunted on this desert land enchanted, on this home by horror haunted, tell me truly, I implore. Is there, is there balm in Gilead? Tell me, tell me, I implore. Quoth the raven, nevermore. Okay, yes, there is a balm in Gilead. You know, I see what he's struggling with. He's struggling with death and loss. So as ending, and the raven never flitting, still is sitting, still is sitting on the pallid bust of Pallas just above my chamber door. And his eyes have all the seeming of a demon's that is dreaming, and the lamplight o'er him streaming throws his shadow on the floor, and my soul, from out that shadow that lies floating on the floor, shall be lifted, nevermore. Okay, and with that uplifting music, um, bringing hope to those who trade, quoth the raven, a little bit more. So let's see. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I didn't. Go quite as you know, dark and dreary, midnight dreary, yada yada yada. Um, so two two different coins honored in that little spectacle there, uh, P O E 
and Ravencoin. I have actually seen people reference the poem with the coin. No idea. No idea. But, so here we are. Make sure that we're set up correctly. Yep. Pretty good. He sees good, yes. So, okay, it went up to 1546, and it did not just continue coming down. It's going for it again, so we're going to hit 10,500 BTC 24-hour volume. Unbelievable. Incredible. Unprecedented. Yeah, this is one of those things that you just, you want to, you know, share in the experience, even if, um, you know, it's a fleeting thought or, you know, if it's obviously way too early or way too late, depending on how you look at it, uh, for others to be actively participating. I certainly understand. IOST, ADA. Who is the assistant district attorney for this case? Quoth the Raven, nevermore. Uh oh, for those people in at 27 and 28, one BTT got a further hill to climb there. So, oh my goodness, people, what are you doing? Do you believe everything that Justin Sun tells you? Don't. Wait, watch. There's, okay, right here, alone. Cancel those out. Come join me on Ravencoin. Wait and see whether this actually moves somewhere. Then go in. Then go in. This is, like, easily, you know, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000. I mean, this is, like, you know, three whales worth of bitcoins that you could be adding right now to here this got liquidity it's moving it's breaking through you know but i want to show my loyalty to hodl btt quoth the raven nevermore while i held BitTorrent dreary waiting for it to clear thee of my position at 19 and 20 waiting for an open door. Then I watched in a midnight dreary a ridiculous volume spike clearly. A slight demise and then a MACD here Lee, starting to even out before the raven nevermore shall we see 300 or 400 five or six 800 or more shall we ever come below 1400 again perhaps quoth the raven nevermore maybe this is its new normal perhaps yes so we have a principal third seven and over here we have a boom 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 and then it um, if we zoom in here, we'll see it over and over and over and over again. We have the same thing over here. Here's the foothills, boom, 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 and then the change. And then, I, I mean, when you have a steady climb up, that's just self-fulfilling prophecy right there. Um, but it does look like it's maybe about to finish the third of these. So we're watching, we're waiting. And the, you know, the patterns, in my opinion, they get uh, more obvious and uh, reliable as uh, you zoom in so this is not an it would be risky to assume that this means you know perfect storm time to go in again uh, stuck rsi may not stay up here it might start to come down again from there um, this can always reposition itself and start to come down um, bitcoin is doing a slight upward move i mean for it to move up a dollar when it is at 62.7 million dollars 24 hour volume it's come down even since we've been watching this and reading poetry thank you for gordon freeman poetry corner what is the half-life of a raven spike gordon freeman what is the half-life of a raven coin spike the answer is freedom 
So we have vastly broken 10,500 BTC 24 hour volume. Unbelievable. 500 BTC just in a matter of, uh, I mean, what, 10, 15 minutes? That's incredible. Wow. So let me go ahead and get the browser set up again. I don't remember what page I actually landed on. Let's see. Phoenix, Phoenix is at 318. ADA is actually moving pretty quickly too. <laughs> okay, so take a look now at what Mana is doing. Oh, this is just craziness. Let me in. Let me in. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's just too high for anybody to take a risk up there. Cannot advise it, but man, it is so difficult to fight the our nature to want to dive in. It's like, let me in now. Come on, come on. I can do this. So do you see how now we actually have ADA? This is unbelievable. ADA and Ravencoin both at virtually the same value. That's just, that's whack. That's what that is. Okay, so one must make the decision whether it is worth trying to go for a smaller percentage, still risking just the getting in and out, but just try to get in there for just very, very, very short positions. And see, I mean, what I'm finding is that it's so often that in order for it to fly by that position anyway, it goes shooting down it anyway. So the risk is almost the same for a small position, um, which I would consider like, you know, 0.3 or 0.4, meaning that you're really just getting a tenth or a fifth of a percent, which when you have very large trade, trade sizes, not such a bad thing. Um, so in this case, we are now <laughs> testing, like, let's just say 15, 20, what would be 0.5? Uh, that would be still about a move of seven or eight points, meaning that like 15, 17 to 15, 27 ish, 26, 27. So, okay. Very, very, very substantially important. We're going to start to see a drop and here's why For, it's not because it's a double down here. It could immediately adjust beyond that. It's starting to do the exact opposite mirror curvature of Bitcoin. It, this weird thing that Bitcoin is doing uh, it's, it's very unusual to see this, but part of it is just because there's excitement and activity on this. It just did just now. I'm over here studying this thing, and it's just done on another 10 BTC worth of trading. Unbelievable. This is going to continue into the morning. I mean, yeah, it's morning, but it's dark, so, you know, whatever. But, uh, so 15, 22 to 29 is even worth it. I um, just want to see... If we hit the 1499 here, we're watching for any, if you see just like a flicker of two or three faster than boom, 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 boom. I'm showing you some advanced stuff, uh, the pulse, the metronome going here, boom, boom, boom. Now we're going in. Okay, so it recognized it, but it was not enough for it to shift it immediately. But we're in un an uncertainty doji candle here. So, yep, it actually has it to just keep going. Wow. Okay. So you have to watch the live adjustment down here and up here. If you are a nervous trader, you've never done this before or whatever, um, just sit back and watch. Don't try to do this. Don't try this at home. It might just, like, seriously freak you out. 1507, 1509 is the next one I'm going to test. And I'm going about as fast as I can 
uh, get it to recognize in the bat in the browser. And I'm telling you right now, even with the BTC volume climbing, and even with this sitting around what is a very temporary temporary median, um, that sucker could drop in a heartbeat. I've seen uh, when it, it still hasn't got into the super crazy type of volume that this stuff could do. Um, it's very, very exciting. I'm going to move just for a millisecond. And 1535, we're still coming down uh, just about three, two. So you see this double down over here while Bitcoin is going up. It's made it way, its way another $1.80, which is substantial. It sounds like nothing. Um, but you got to remember, it does not have the volume to support the value. It's not that it can't handle the movement. People can keep buying in higher as much as they want. And this will continue up as long as people aren't selling off at a faster rate. That's not the problem. The problem is that it, its value is usually attached to a certain amount of trade velocity. And um, none of us have, you know, the uh, NASA, MIT level um, mad math skills. But I do have that built into some weird kind of instinct from... Um, basically messing up my brain by looking at audio science waves <laughs> for thousands of hours over the past years. Uh, somehow it's um, baked me into having the ability to do this. So all of these are a good thing. I'm just kind of joking about the insane amount of time that I've studied looking at patterns and things. Uh, so my brain does the math visually. I like it to do better with the numbers. And it actually does if I don't think then it does fine. It does actually pretty much spot on. Um, but usually for short periods of time, and I have to tell myself not to second guess those things. So, yep, all of these things are true. So it's dropped another five, uh, seven. Okay, so this might actually be a safer move uh, to do ADA. And if I do that, I'm going to try to switch to our client quick enough to make the same position so once again i want to look at what is the overall average okay we have lots of growing room with ada and that's a good thing we already know we don't with raven raven is um three times growth in one week so the, the thing with this kind of stuff is that if optimism remains and the volume stays high but this starts um a little bit of a fud sell-off I can't believe it didn't do the second that it crossed that 1500. I thought that it would spike really quick to like 15, 1505, 1507, 1519, 20, 21, and then slow down 22, 23, 24, 23, 22, 21, and then start selling off. That's what I thought it would do. So it went like way beyond that, another 20 something up, which that might not sound like a big deal to you, but I mean, doing another percent when it's already that high, really, really, really big deal. Um, I mean, it did it over seven minutes so that's pretty sweet um so you know hindsight man i mean we could have racked up about seven intervals um in doing so but it would not have been safe and there'd be no way to know that that's what it would do so there's a very real chance that at the end of this that ada is back down i would say somewhere in the 1400s not too bad um i like the fact that i mean you know this is a nice goal but it's it's only you know thirty three dollars in Bitcoin world. Um, where that would be a couple of weeks worth of trading. We literally have done this um, from the very smallest trade upwards, from the beginning of time to the present. Okay, Raven has actually found a median. Um, it thinks that it's worth fifteen twenty one. Wow. Yeah, quite a boyd. Quite a boyd, Raven. You goes, Raven. It'll flap your wings. Flap. Yeah, your dark, scary chamber door dreams over there. Your your wings over there. Mm hmm. Yep. You know what I'm talking about. I'm actually going to. I mean, you know, Twitter. It seems like the right thing for a bird to do. So, I'm going to do another tweet and just say, uh, R V N, Raven Coin. Project Ravencoin. Ravencoin Whale? Interesting. We'll check that stuff out. We will check that stuff out. Uh, Ravencoin uh, now believes it is worth an entirely new average of 1520 BTC. 
10,500 BTC, 24, 24 hour volume on Binance. Unbelievable. And cross the raven. Yeah, some more. Had to be done. Okay, so ADA 1536. My goodness, these are so fucking hard. Um, yeah, just a, more than anything else, this is just an experience to be shared. Look at that. I mean, it is actually another, you know, when we broke our 10,500 BTC 24 hour volume, it's done another 66 bitcoins worth of trading in minutes. Ooh. Okay. Crazy. Okay. Um, don't think that I've put in on anything in here. Okay, no. In there. Good. Muy bien. As I am jumping to prevent more. Tweet, tweet. Okay, so. Uh, 28 to 38, 28 to 40 would have been fine. 26 to 42 would have covered the whole range. Um, just too risky to jump in that way. Uh, here's mana. So mana is finding that same median up there. Oh my goodness, it's great. It's great. All right, so it has recently been higher than that. Uh, in fact, it had a spike up here in the... Uh, 1370 range. It looks like it's going to make its way back up through there. It depends on how long this continues. Um, Bitcoin is actually still holding in the 3984 range. It's about to even out a little bit, I think. But it's still dropping in volume. This is, if there's ever been a teaching moment where uh, you want to really learn how to do something that no other traders are capable of doing, okay? This is the thing here, that this correlation that we are showing you is the thing. That volume shift, it's not just, you know, oh, well, people are trading less on Bitcoin and putting their monies into the altcoins. It, nope, it's the math behind the scenes. I'm not saying that that's not happening. I'm just saying that's not the reason that the spikes in the, in the extreme capability of volume suddenly kicks in. The, the reason is because of the math under the hood. So it looks like... On the high side, 1,600 is safe. Somewhere around the middle of the median, uh, I would say we're a little bit higher than my comfort zone on that, but I think 1,400 is the limits on mana. So I think that we are in the right place. If we want to try to get in on a move here, um, I know it seems crazy to even consider this, considering uh, the comparison between the amount of volume on Raven and it's like a perfectly sized coin, basically. Oh my gosh, it's going for it again. What on earth are you doing? So it's going to go higher, guys. It found a medium here and it just said, you know what? <laughs> so, it, I mean, it, 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 it seems like, I mean, it's almost a shame not to try to go in, but it's not worth like, doing small you know if you're going to go in on something like this you need to do it uh, to really really count and the thing is at the end of the day uh, your trade accuracy and your ability to move forward is what matters what what trade got you there and what crazy position it was or wasn't sitting it um, none of that's going to matter once you've made your profit um, you have no loyalty to this coin versus any other you're looking at the position Show your loyalty by trading um, regularly and holding a small percentage of the coins that you value. Their value is the most, for sure. In this case, is just this is a market-breaking uh, situation here. Now, we've seen 20,000 BTC. We've seen 27,000 BTC. I believe 38,000 BTC, maybe 40-something thousand BTC. And it does not last long. It's usually just spike, 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 spike. 
fall, 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 fall. Help me. Um, I'm falling. Recovery. Uh, the fight back and forth becomes intense as, you know, some people are trying not to lose everything, et cetera, et cetera. Um, seeing just normal, new, all-time high trading patterns like this just continue hour after hour. Um, it is the unrelenting batting of the wings of the raven. It, it's, um, it is relentless on that chamber door here. Pretty amazing. So 1544 would be 1560 <laughs> if it was a perfect move now. That's unbelievable. And it, I mean, his head is right there. there. There's nowhere to get it. It needs to do a sharp dive and then fly right back up in order for it to even make sense to try to go in. People are buying in like crazy at 1550. It's going to keep going up. I mean, it's marked it there. Look. Okay, people are starting to sell at 1549. It's going to a little bit nerve-wracking. Um, candles actually suggesting it's going to switch. That's not actually what it says. Um, it's People get faked out by this when there's a wick at the top. That way it's supposed to go down. But I can see that it means that it's going to test down and continue going up. So, yeah, watch this. It's come down too. Watch this. I mean, because it's marked at 1550, but the, the volume hasn't slowed down and it hasn't switched at directions yet. Look, 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 look. Okay, here comes the buy-in. Oh my goodness, should we be the buy-in? It's right there at the top. Nope, we're going to wait for the actual principal thirds. Not going to get a chance to do it because it's going to do a whole cycle. Look at this. It's already recorrecting at the top of the next MACD cycle. You're supposed to wait until it's here and then go up, but there's no reason to think that it could be able to break the top of the Bollinger again. <laughs> it's unbelievable. It's great. This is awesome. Very cool. Very, very cool. So I am actually interested whether, um, let's say, something as low as 1503 can have any effect. We have essentially a Bitcoin, a little more than it. Hold on, I got a sneeze. You know, it had a Gordon-sized sneeze, and did it do exactly what I was saying? Yes, it's recorrecting right when... Okay, I don't know if you can see this or not. I hope that you can, but if you look at this, this here where my cursor is, is right where the recorrect, uh, recorrecting was happening. You see this bend, boom. Really not supposed to go in there at all. So this would take 1560. Uh, to clear uh, the kind of position that I think would be worth doing. So I want to see what effect uh, more than a Bitcoin down this low, uh, 15, uh, about 2.5% low, would do to the volume right now. 15.38 and dropping, boom. Wait about five, se uh, well, about seven seconds. 39. It's going to go up or down by five in a very short time. 1536 or 1547, somewhere. I don't know which. Looks like it's going to go up again. Okay. Bitcoin just sped up. It, it, it did $3, so it is going up, but its volume has not kicked in yet. So this is actually kind of ignoring me now and just doing the Bitcoin thing, but it's going to change now uh, when I let go of this button to cancel. Five, four, three, two, <laughs> one, boom. All right, there it is. Did you see that? It jumped down to 37, jumped up to 42, boom, just like that. All right, so now we have an indecision candle. If we were to do 1533 to about 43, that would be super cool. 1533. Oh, I just don't know if I can do it. Now it might actually start coming down for real. And Bitcoin is pushing hard to hit 3988 if it can do it. Volume is still 
coming down on Bitcoin. We're going to see 11,000 on, on Ravencoin's volume. So we got to wait for it to come down. Um, I just don't know how long I can wait. Okay, there we go. Come on, come on, come down, come on down, come on down. 1503. Yep, okay, now it's responding. There we go. That's what I was looking for before. Okay, so Bitcoin is spiking. It's going down. It's doing a reverse type of response. So, I mean, literally, if I left this 1503 here, it would already be down there and back up. Uh, it's just, it's too risky for what we're trying to do. So, I'm watching it. Um, ADA, because of the nature of what Bitcoin is doing at its volume, doesn't surprise me at all that all of these are doing kind of a reverse pattern. They're not tracking with it. They're tracking exactly the opposite of it. I don't know exactly where that line for the math crosses there, but I know that that's what's happening. Um, and mana is sort of kind of a little bit doing its own thing. It's not nearly within the same volume range that it takes to be following these guys. Just out of curiosity, is, okay, fun's not doing a darn thing. Understood. What about fuel? Not doing a darn thing. Understood. What about, what about ion's not going to be any different, is it? Nope. Okay. All of these within position. I know it seems like they're way away, but they're not that far away, actually. Okay, so ion and ADA again, 1533, uh, 7538. Remember that. I mean, what are you going to do with it? You're going to tell me? Is anybody actually watching right now? I don't know. I'm pretending that you're there. You're the friend that lives in my brain, right? Okay, let's see. Here we go. Quoth the Raven, nevermore. So it's 1533, and we're talking about. Oh. Let's see. 1503. Yeah, 1503. Okay. Oh, yeah, it was in the 1520. I got you. Oh, man, it's already correcting before I got you. <laughs> Look, it hasn't even done a negative cycle, and it's already back up where it would need to be. So I am going to weigh that down to there. Boom. Coming over here to Binance, and we're going to say 15. Zero, 03. I'm going in exactly the same place, 1503. And it looks like it is just motivated by these guys right here. There's not even, still, there's not even huge positions, but people are going to try to bring it down to the 20 again. We'll see. Yeah, it looks like it might work. Bitcoin is rising, 39.90. And. It may be going up in volume. It's gone from 62 million 496 to, well, nope, it's still dropping. It's still dropping in volume, going up in value. Guys, this is crazy. And the stock RSI is starting to get in the right position. 15, 38, 48. Oh, gosh. It's crazy. Logic would tell you, sit this out. Sit on your hands and don't do this. So therefore, look at that. Yeah, Polly is doing the same thing. So it's going up crazy in value and volume. What is its lifetime average? I mean, look at this, folks. This is not the bull run. I'm telling you, this is not the bull run. And we might see a leveling out. It might be a long time before they do this kind of crazy again. Um, power was jumping too. In fact, that's a slightly safer uh, steady up going on there. Yeah, we, we need a team on this, buddy. This is crazy. Love it. Absolutely love it. Love it. So if I knew what I'll know an hour from now, I would choose a range somewhere in here um, to block out some of these just to watch what the reaction is so that I know what um, its kind of weakness place is. Um, this is one of those times where if you look at a longer period of time, it looks very similar to what Bitcoin is doing in, at the minute. It's this weird thing that it does. Okay, so volume is slightly up with Bitcoin now. 
slightly up. Okay. So I'm going to test a few of these places. We still have our 1503 sitting in the browser. Sitting in the browser. 1514. Okay. Look at this. That's crazy. It's got to come down some. The thing is that if it loses um, the pace at all, it's going to come down sharp. So this might be one of those things where you just have to decide, you know, what is the thing that I want to regret about this? Because I can't possibly sit here and just not do something for the next three days. But it's ridiculous to think that 36 to 46 to 50, uh, that it's just going to go right back up to 1550. Um, it's still going up in volume. Uh, more than a Bitcoin a second it has been doing. Okay, 21 is a very risky range. It's already shown that it can drop there easily. Um, and it's going to drop. It's going to drop. And something relatively crazy is going to kick in here at some point because it looks like Bitcoin's going to make it to 4,000 again. And when it does, there's honestly no telling uh, what that kick starts on Bitcoin's side, which means that this could go shooting down. Or it could already be in sync with Bitcoin and go shooting up. This is not me trying to make a prediction, okay? This is not one of those things where I'm going to say, I guarantee it's either going to stay where it is, go down, or go up. Um, I get so tired of when people do that. And they just, if they're saying that while they're drawing their little triangle and showing, you know, retracement consolidation, triangle Fibonacci, triangle retracement uh, sequence, uh, the Fibonacci, uh, flying Fibonacci ravens. Um, Nope. Uh, yeah, I mean, you can draw a, a line and show just about anything to anything else. Um, a lot of people know what they're doing. A lot of people do the right stuff. But it's a lot easier to say, you know, I showed you 17 things and one of those was right. So I'm always calling this correctly. Yeah, we don't play those games here. Okay. But we do call everything correctly most of the time. So... Uh, we wouldn't be here doing this if we didn't think that there was something to that. So here we go. 1521. What's your number? What's your number? Call your number. Okay, it's sitting below the median now. This is where push comes to shove. This is what separates the men from the other men. Or other things entirely. Oh, let's see. Okay. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. All right, oftentimes when the fundamentals are kind of coming around to where there's a little bit of volume and I expect more and it's getting ready for the two lines to cross the bottom side of the stock RSI uh, and going to start likely going up again. And when we're below the VWAP, below the Bollinger mid average, and the MACD is in its negative and it's getting ready to cross on the bottom side of that. But it's a smaller cycle than the previous one that got it to go really high. And yet, and yet, uh, 10,749 BTC 24 hour volume, which means that the volume is still going up. This is one of those risky times that every single thing is saying go in now. The problem with that is how many times I've seen that be where it starts to go down for the first time and reverse that pattern for the first time. 
Uh, and nothing is more frustrating than having to wait like the next 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 hours something for something that you're certain was going to pop in like three minutes. So I'm watching and waiting. And we still have our 1503, I believe, for our Raven in the browser. So I'm watching to see. And part of it is that, um, see at 1531, see there's three Bitcoins in that position. Not exactly a bad place to be, but if it doesn't put, uh, if it doesn't touch 1531, but that three changes, then that's going to have a huge deciding factor of where it goes. And if this were just in our paid group alone, I would say a lot more about that, but I'm doing a lot more than I would normally do for free here uh, because we're going from our soft launch into our full on launch and just really enjoying getting getting to know the Twitter Bitcoin world and getting to know our small but growing community. Uh, really appreciate you guys. You guys are special to us. Uh, please get the word out. Let people know that we exist. Yep. Okay, so Bitcoin has come down a teeny weeny bit and now it's going back up. Never really left the peak at 39.94 for very long and it's at 39.92.12. Um... So it makes sense that we're hovering here, but we've still gone up another two Bitcoins in volume. Looks tiny, but what it's been doing over here is very significant, especially for a coin like this. So, okay, still showing that it could go up. So what we have to see, if there's an increase in the volume again, this little yellow line here is the VWAP. It shows the price and the volume together. And we're crossing that the price is going above that. If it does that and, and does so significantly, we should start to see it in this line here. Oh my goodness, this is so nerve wracking. Okay, so we've seen a shift around here, right? Remember that 1531 was where there are three, now there's four at 1532. Okay, so other people see the same thing that we're seeing. And they're nervous about going in high, but they're actually driving the value up. So Bitcoin is coming down a little bit. I think that means that this is starting to go up because Bitcoin is going down. Um, oh, and this is so tricky because we're already so high up there. So I don't really want to do smaller than just going all in. Um, and I mean, it's not all in. We actually have some set aside just for this reason. But, oh gosh, yeah, I mean, I'm going to test this and it's going to make it actually go up. But I just feel the need to test. I want to be responsible. I want to be careful while showing this stuff. But see how it, w it went uh, 15, 35, 6, 7, 8 briefly. Um, it's a very narrow range. And see, everybody's watching this and being more cautious now. But, oh gosh. Yeah, it's crazy. I love talking all this out. I hope it's not making people crazy. Um, yeah, like I'm the one that made you crazy. Okay. Yeah, like I'm the one that did that. Okay. <laughs> uh, 759. So can it still keep going up? Because, I mean, any, any change in Bitcoin can dramatically affect this. So we do not have a 5 BTC in that range anywhere anymore. So if I put this at 1529, that should have a pretty substantial response. And the VWAP is saying that it's ready to go up. So let's see. Give it about 7 seconds. 761. 10,761 BTC. <sighs> okay. Amazing. Okay. Um, letting it sit there for a half a second. I want to see poly, power, 
and mana and ADA. So we'll see power. Um, 180 BTC, 24 hour volume, so it's not going to be quite as crazy. If it come down, comes down a lot, then there might be an entry there that would be a good one to do. Polly, what you doing? 1145 BTC and still climbing. Okay, so that's risky but promising. And uh, mana? What are you doing? Just about the same thing, 375. Not sure it's going to gain enough volume, but that, I mean, that's triple what it was when I first started watching it in this cycle. Assist, as, assistant District Attorney, um, 26 to 37, that same kind of range, right? Yeah. Okay, so not quite the thing. So we're back to Raven. I, don't, I just wanted to make sure that by watching Raven, we're not missing something um, less spine-tingling. We might actually get a narrowing Bollinger here. I don't know. Not the right time to go in, though. All right. Let her drop. Come on. Come down. Come on down. Come on down. Price is right. Uh, 1427, 1413. Boom. Four, okay, that's good. 1413. And switch to the browser. Do see do. Okay, 1503 still. And switch back <laughs> to Binance. Uh, okay, crazy, crazy, crazy. So yeah, I want to go in exactly when I'm ready to go in. Um, so I'm out on this one. Um, full screen browser again. And okay, I'm out on this one. So when I decide to go in, 781. We've done <laughs> another 20 Bitcoin, 24 hour volume. <laughs> This is insane. Okay, this one I'm really going to try not to sit out, okay? So I'm actually going to check and see. You guys, you are there. You are not there. Okay, that's the that thing. This should actually be it. Yeah, so. Hey, cool. Thanks. Whoever dropped by and left us a thumbs up, appreciate it. Um, yeah, bearish ascending triangle. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, and yet Bitcoin is at 39.91. Just saying, just saying. Oh, let's create like a wall of mirror thingy. Where is Williams? Uh, this is like where it was here. <laughs> I was just there. That's pretty cool. Okay. Silly, silly, silly. Stop. Okay. All right. There's mana. And here we are. Okay. Have we established what the bottom is going to be here? I mean, oh my gosh, we're just talking 1,500 now, right? Fantastic. There we go. There we go. There we go. So 15 to 15, 15? No, it's got to drop more than that. Uh, 1480. 1470? Let's say 1470. 1470. Fourteen seventy, almost. Wow, beautiful, beautiful. Look, eight hundred fifty-two, eight fifty-three, eight sixty. Unbelievable. Okay, so uh, fourteen seventy-seven to ninety-seven. Fourteen seventy-seven, fourteen ninety-seven. <sighs> 1477, 14. I don't want to miss out on it, but I don't want to do something stupid either. So, 1488. I mean, that was the perfect drop there. Just I'm thinking in terms of trying to get on both things. 89. Mm-mm. Fourteen eighty is where it did that drop. So eighty four, possibly. We're gonna hit eleven thousand on this. Okay. Fourteen eighty four. And then Asa does that. Yeah, 
and decision time around here. We're talking 84 is right about there. 1490, I really don't want to go in that high. I would rather miss out than to go in on a position that I regret. That's pretty important. Look at that, 10,908 BTC. I love that you guys are getting to experience this, whoever you are. Somebody left thumbs up up there. So thank you for that. Okay, 1484 is what, okay, no, yeah, we don't want to be the ones that risk what the double down is going to be. All right, so it's going into the 1470s like we thought before. And notice that it barely tipped out in that range. It did not make it up back up, back up to 1500. So this may be where it starts to scare people, okay? So watch. If I walk away from this experience having not gone in, but we did not risk what we have accumulated, I would be okay with that. I wouldn't be okay with it, but I'd be okay with that. If I go in and I get tricked after it's been up here all this time, and it takes months for us to get back into the swing, um, because of that, that I would not be okay with. So I don't mind being cautious because I have a reason for being cautious. There's a difference between being conservative, cautious, and clever, and being a scaredy cat. Scaredy Cat doesn't have the ability to go in on a position no matter how good it looks. This has logic and reason and experience behind it. I didn't just go jumping in here. Now, it would have been great if we did 85 to 95 and just said, hey, you know, we grabbed some. You know, yes, I understand. That would be great. Okay, so 1477 to 87. 1477 to about... 88, let's say. So 1477. Is it even going to do that at this point? Nope, people are getting scared. Okay. Uh, 73, 72, 71. I love this. It's, I mean, okay. Well, I saw the 60s now. 1458. Yeah, look how straight down an angle and wide that is now. Okay, so it's going to start to come down quicker now. I want to double check, make sure that I have not gone in over here yet. I remember having canceled out. Okay, good. So we haven't gone in in any, either of these places. Okay. 1461. No, you know what? I've seen much more extreme than that. 1441. I'm actually going to test one and a half bitcoins at 1441 just to see because it's got a bitcoin, two bitcoins, two, one, one, one. So it would have to fly through a ton of buys, meaning that people are selling off, meaning that they've been holding it all this time and now they're getting scared of what is happening to the value of their coins that they bought too high. So um, we don't do stop loss, but a lot of people have a one, three, five, seven, nine percent stop loss going on this. When somebody watches something go up 30%, they start getting crazy thinking that the market does that normally. And if it's already been down too much, then sometimes it does that kind of crazy margin. All right, so how long does this go? And then we start to look for the mirror. This is mirroring this up over here. So the average was around 1520 remember it went up as high as 45 and it is down now low be below that average so people are really getting a little bit freaked out we are going to see 11,000 btc before the cycle is done this is really really exciting okay it might actually be recovering bitcoin is still headed up and it's four dollars away from reaching four thousand again. So I don't know whether this is a negative correlation or is, uh, if this is literally just the psychology of people freaking out over the positions. So I'm almost willing to go underneath somebody else's position over here. Um, like 
<laughs> okay. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. What's the right place to go in? There we are. Eleven thousand. My goodness. Okay. So sixty-five. Sixty-two. Sixty-one. Oh my gosh. Wow. Fifties. See, I told you that sixty range was not crazy, and it just did from uh, 80, 83 down to 57, okay? It could go, easily it could go shooting through our 1441 there. It really could. Okay. Yep, this is exciting. I'm waiting to see when people start coming to their senses about this position. Okay, we still have not gone in. 44. Oh, thank goodness. We're just watching for the right thing here. 1450. 14. Do you see that? 1441 is exactly where it went down to. Wow. Okay, so... Bitcoin is up another dollar, so this is a combination of the negative correlation, and we've done another 80, 90 BTC 24-hour volume. People are freaked out. So this is getting into that range now. I mean, usually it's the really crazy is when you're seeing like 20,000 BTC and it's happening live. It's like, you know, 10 BTC, 10 BTC, 10 BTC, 10 BTC. It's starting to get into that range. So now you can see extreme. This is liquidity playing out right in front of us okay i'm almost willing to just watch and do nothing uh, just so that we can actually see this is what i'm talking about when i say mass adoption equals liquidity liquidity means trading on a legitimate exchange okay do you know that there has to be value being built out of the raven coin transaction fees okay binance is earning the coin is earning okay if you like this coin and you want to show your support do what we're doing try to get in on a position and the more of them, the merrier. The more, the better. So, 1450, 1444 to 74, it could. Let's just try it. Are we going to try it? We're going to try it. This is not guesswork, by the way. I'm just, I'm looking at several different things at the same time, hoping that we make the right choice here. 1444. Now the goal is for it to be able to go down enough to grab it, but for it not to trigger people being freaked out and start selling off. And it looks like it's adding too much value. So I try it again. Even 47 could be an extreme. Okay, it's going up too quick. It's going up too quick. Uh, 40, oh gosh, just like that, boom. This is what I'm talking about, liquidity. It can cover this ridiculous range in a ridiculously short period of time. So, I mean, we're going to be chasing this behind, and um, a lot of people get burned by trying to chase it too far up. It has not crossed that range yet. 57, I think, is still reasonable. Still reasonable. Look at that volume. Amazing. We're at 57. See how quickly it can become so close to that. Forty-one, forty-three, forty-five, forcing Yeah, see? See, see, see? It's doing that down angle again. Yep, we're playing this exactly right. You don't know which one of these is going to be the one. It's very smart to be careful here. I know there's several times we could have gotten in already. I understand that. <laughs> so, boom, 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 boom. It's still, it could still go lower than that. 53, 
53. Yeah. 53. 14. 53. It's opening up a little bit like it could do more. We crossed the 4,000 line on Bitcoin, so now it's going to do something else crazy again. Probably going back up faster than I want it to. 1453 to 67, let's say. Oh gosh. 1453. Don't FOMO. Keep watching the numbers. 1453. 57. We almost did that before. We're going to try it again. 1457. Okay. It's going up quicker. I'm going to try the same thing over here. 14. Gosh. May not be able to do this. May not be able to get in. 1458. There's two Bitcoin at 73. Uh, 1463. We can try. 1463. about to cross over into a positive MACD without a real confirmation of where it's going to land. And we've hit a tip on Bitcoin, which means that, yeah, it could start dropping quicker now. Don't know. It's averaging down a little bit, but my goodness, the volume's still going up. So we're, we're already saying uh, 1457, I believe, in the browser. Yeah, 1457. Gee, I'm okay if we don't get in on this. I really am. It's just... Okay, we have like an exaggerated mirroring, so it is weighing heavier down, even though the volume is crazy. Wow. Okay. So I'm actually interested in kind of testing out something very different here. Very hard to get in on this pattern. A little bit crazy. Any any of you people that are going in on this, you guys are a little bit nuts or you're a little bit uh, more comfortable with what happens to your money. So I'm not sure which one of those things it is. Okay. All right, so yeah, it's actually going to go down some. I partially contributed. You're welcome. Yeah, see that, that slow curve starting to happen there? And yet it's supposed to be on its uptrend here. So we're doing the right thing testing this. I know that there's some room there that we could have gotten in. And I actually called the, the exact bottom to that the first time around 1441 was exactly where the low point was but if you look at how fast you would have had to get in your uh, perfect cell uh, position a little bit nerve-wracking so here we go now we get to actually see what the low point is going to be and i don't think it's shooting straight down to 1377 so i'm going to go back to the client make sure that i did what i thought i did over here yes we have not gone in anything all right so the actual weakening position here is what I really want to go in on. 
So I'm going to say like 1388, 1388, 1399. Okay, what I want is that, you know, this is a very temporary low. <laughs> it's not low at all, but it's a very temporary low, and it's kind of doing the opposite of what Bitcoin's doing now because they're sharing that middle ground of the super low volume for Bitcoin and super high volume for Raven. So somewhere in between those two, it's going to shift and do a little bit, bit of an up now uh, without dropping all the way down. So that's what I'm looking for. It's testing that 1441 and we're coming up on that. So 14, oops, 1401. Three, you see how this works? It's coming down to me, I'm coming up to it. Where's it gonna be? Where's it gonna be? Saw it jumping in the 30s. Yep, 1409. Okay, so how freaked out are people at this point? Okay, we're leaving the 1500s now. Aren't we glad we didn't try to do the 1480 thing before it was tested properly? Yes, we are. Okay, it broke the 1431. We're up to 1409. And even with it being at 11,259 BTC 24 hour volume, uh, we are still safe to go and check our positions over here. 39, 49, 59, we could get uh, 14, 39 to 59, 39 to 59, could we do that? 14, 22. Okay. Okay, fourteen twenty two. flattening out a little bit down there so I'm going to double that I'm going to double that do you see how close we're getting to going in on a position now Looks like we might not get out of that 1427 because it looked a little bit stuck. And that's okay. Looks like we went in. We did. We did not. We did. We didn't. Okay, wow. Okay, I did the major drop down there can't even keep up with it at this point. Okay, that's major. That's huge. That's major. All right. Stay in calm. Stay in calm. 1389. Show me what we got. Show me what we don't got. You're telling me that we cleared out of that. Okay. So now I really need to see what's happening over here. Sorry. Okay, over here. Are we all in? Yes, we're all in on something. Let's see. We bought at 14.22. Okay, so make sure that's accurate. 3.24 5.49 p.m. Uh, 14.22. Show me. 14. 
20 to 1. Point, yes, so 1433. So we want to sell 1422, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1431. 1432, 3, 4, 5, and we're at 11,472, and oh, it is so frustrating when you wait and you wait and you wait, and then there's a technical glitch and it goes super wacko. So. Hopefully this is not going to scare everybody off and it doesn't go back up. That's not what we want to see happen here. So 1437 is very much on the low side of the activity that we've seen. Been here a million times. Well, several times. Okay, 1422. So 32 would be fine. 1432 would be fine. Okay, I've done everything that I can do there, so I'm going to let it be what it is. So now we are going to come over here to our full screen browser, and we're going to look over here at the 1391. So you see how that 1378 was not an exaggeration at all. Wow, huh? So 1378. 81, 85, 87. Do you see why my experience in the extremely crazy fast paced stuff has shown me uh, being conservative and coming in shallow, getting my feet wet, testing the water before going in deep? has its reasons and see this these things get stuck when um, it gets crazy in the browser that way haven't seen it as much of a problem in the client definitely an issue with the browser um, so i'm not even going to worry about what um, mana is doing over here okay don't want anything pulling on um, the volume there okay so 1388 if we can get in if it drops down there at all 1389, 91, see how we're coming together again now, 93, 93. okay, gets nerve wracking, but this is that range, yep, I understand what you're saying, I understand. So 14 to 14, 14 is kind of what I'm thinking here. Yeah. All right, so I don't want it to do a double down thing. I'd like for it to just simply go up. So, all right, so it's eating all that. So we're going to start at 1410. And these are definitely more than one position. This is not just a spread. This is very large risk on multiple positions, 1411, 12, yep, 13, 14, and I'm going to say at 15. And it's interesting because, uh, yeah, please don't keep going down there. Now it actually is back in sync with Bitcoin going down, and Bitcoin has come up 2 million. So you saw how quickly it was able to start coming back up to um, the 1400 here. And I don't think that that's the end of its excitement here. And we're going into 6 a.m., which is also another layer of excitement uh, we are here to entertain you. That is what we are doing today. So let's even say 1416, 1417. 
huh? Uh, may not have been given me the accurate number, gotcha. So 1381 is going to pop back up, I hope. 1390 is the right direction. Okay. Good. So this is the thing is that it's very scary when it starts going down that much, but it has got a lot of um, good kind of volatility because we have liquidity. So we don't want to get burned, obviously, but um, I want to take a quick look. Um, here is our trade order page. So here we are, um, 1393 to 89 is the lowest, 93 is the highest. So 93 to 1403 would be 10. And we did, um, our highest amount was here, 1395, so 1405. Yeah. All right, so get up there. 1420 uh, something is up here. And the thing is, this really is the kind of situation where I don't want to uh, move my positions around too much because every single little thing is um, an itchy trigger finger for the volatility machine. All right, so here we go. This should be the beginning of an up. Please, Bitcoin, don't mess us up now. And we got like two minutes before somebody's market opens at six. So let's go ahead and do this thing now. Go ahead and give us our profits now. <laughs> okay. This is what we're working towards. This is what the whole plan is made, designed to do. Uh, I am a human being and I have emotions. I teach that you should be in control of your emotions. Don't let your emotions uh, rule you or be the uh, reasoning mechanism for how you do your trades, why you do your trades. But if you try not to feel, you will eventually make really bad decisions by uh, burying your feelings. And then um, you don't want to do that thing where you are yelling at other people or you kick your dog because you're angry about a position and it's misspent emotion. Deal with the challenging, nerve-wracking thing that's right in front of you. And that's the right way to ha handle things. So we're almost in the clear over here. Uh, and we have... 415 is the highest position, um, but 1413 th is the, um, you know, the, it has the most impact on our budget. Um, I'm going to switch from here and go to where we have not reached any of our uh, sell positions yet over here in the client. And you hear the intensity in my um voice i'm sure <laughs> so okay so we bought in over here at 1422 is the highest so we start to um get out of uh, our risk range when we cross that 1422 again uh, we could handle uh, losing fees that would not be a big deal but um you know we can't handle getting stuck with all of this um we do not like to huddle and we do not ever, barely ever, ever, ever take a loss on anything. So as we're watching this, um, it just, you know, pure instinct. We literally have gone in um, with everything that we aren't holding in reserve in our circulation. So watching this very cautiously, very carefully, Bitcoin is at 39.91 and 64,298,000 volume. So that means that that coming down is actually what happened over here. It was mirror, mirroring, mirroring the opposite moves until that crossing over point of Bitcoin going up in volume and slightly um, raising the value at the same time. It just sucked a lot out of Raven very quickly and it freaked people out a little bit. So it went below that threshold. Uh, these things change so quickly. Um, I understand every little element of what it just did there, but now it should start doing the correcting that it was actually trying to do before. The question is, can it do that while Bitcoin's still going up back from 3991 to 3993? Um, very intense real-time math going on here. Please do not get stuck around the 1400 median. Go ahead and jump up. Um, the other way, see there's the indecisive doji turned to a plus sign. So uh, losing a little bit of ground there. Yeah, no, don't don't give that indication. 
uh, stock RSI is at the top, so it could go a little down and then come back up. But it has made progress with this first uh, cycle. It just it feels like a lifetime because we have a lot that needs to clear at this point. So we're actually looking at um, 1422, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1429 would still be in profit. So I'm thinking of coming down with some of the higher positions, uh, 1429, and I can always adjust that as it's going up if I need to. So 1429, sell 1429, sell at 1430. Sell at 1431, 32, 33, 34, 35. Okay. I feel good about that spread there. So I am going to remain quiet for a second and allow this to do what it needs to do.
All right, so don't scare the wildlife. This message brought to you by the Audubon Society or some other bird thing. Okay, so we have 31, 32, 33, 34, 29 is our lowest one. And looks like it's coming around to do exactly what we're expecting it to do. So we've got 240 back. And it looks like it's going to continue to do what you... Okay, we got our Bitcoin back. So everything after this is profit. I mean, that part was profit too. But uh, here we go. Here we go. And usually when this happens... Uh, once we've gotten through the the rough part, it'll go flying way up beyond what we were waiting on. But just to be certain, just to be on the safe side, I do not want to adjust this stuff. I think that it would give the wrong message to the machine about what it's doing. So 1.55 something is where we were before. So we're just going to see... A little bit of a stall out there. Those usually never stop there, though. So I'm going to let it keep going. So I hope that you've noticed that even though I think out loud and I sound like I'm changing my mind a lot, shifting back and forth and everything, it's kind of like in the same way that two pro tennis players, um, you know, they're going to change their minds a lot as they're shifting back and forth trying to decide what the other person's going to do. Doesn't mean they don't know, you know, it's not the guesswork. It's I've seen this before and I'm, you know, nervously contemplating what's going to happen next. So guys, we did it. We did it. You have to do the right thing now. Must do the right thing. Woohoo! Very much a yoo-hoo. And the one that makes me laugh. <laughs> Love it. <coughs> Love it. All right, guys. So... We are now at 11,813 BTC 24 hour volume. Unbelievable. And Bitcoin is still sitting in the 60 million range. 64 million and slightly climbing, holding just as <clears throat> positive a position as when we started. Uh, did enough of the shift there to where it looks like we made at least another 100. That's really awesome. That's actually big for where we are growing into in the curve right now. So very, very, very good. Um, if you didn't catch this live, which I can't imagine most people did, um, and you really care about this stuff, if you are dedicated to our group at all, you are insane if you don't go back and watch this because this is what it's all about. Now you have seen mass adoption equals liquidity. Liquidity equals showing your support on a legitimate exchange, learning how to day trade live with us. Join us, join us, join us. Subscribe, ring the bell, thumbs up, tell people about us. Um, we have our fantastic looking webinar stuff going. Um, it's been going really well. Love sharing the live time with Kakashi. Um, just want to do even more of that. Let us tell you about the exponen exponential growth. Um, you kind of just experienced it. First name, last name, email, register. Can't really ask for more than that. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so yeah, see, I mean, it's going to keep flying by there now. Um, so let's look at this over here. We bought in our highest position was 1395. And so now all of those should be sold. And so 95, our lowest position we sold is 1410, sold it up to 1415. So if we said 1395, let's look at our percentages here. 1395 at half a percent would have been 1401. Our lowest was 1410. So 0. 0.7 for 1395. That's not a 7. That's a 9. 1435 would have been 1404. So we actually probably did closer to a percent with our fees taken out. Yep. Very, 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 very good. Very good. So that was a nice, nice bit of movement there. Good stuff. So where are our numbers? 1.257. So we have gone from 1.23 to 1.25 today over here. And um, something in that neighborhood over on the uh, browser. So thank you guys so much for joining. And I know you're probably thinking, why don't you just keep doing this now? 
well, um, I have reached that goal for that part, and I don't want it to blur my vision or for me to uh, get overly confident and go in at like 1460 and think that it's going to do 70 when it may or may not. So uh, the liquidity is so insanely off the charts right now, I'm not sure it's a good idea to do much more right now. You may decide to continue. It's kind of sort of clearly going to keep going up. But there's just there's so much risk in that range. Not sure that's worth it. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, Gordon Freeman, leader of the free world, sort of from the darkness out in the light through cryptocurrency, uh, crypto revolution, mass adoption. Uh, follow us on Twitter, hashtag crypto louder megaphone. Be a part of the solution. Be a part of the revolution. God bless you guys for now. Archangel Alts out.